bad part is that um, it's going to raise your taxes. And it's going to, you know, uh, I think the quality of the curl will come down because when you are forced to do something and you only get in part pay, yeah. I think it'll bring down some of the curl. But that's just my opinion, personally. Well, and, and from what I understand, they've already cut the doctor's pay. And so you're going to have a lot of doctors jumping ship. So when you think about that, if you got doctors jumping ship and you had, say, 200, and now you're down to 150, that means your curve is going to be uh, probably a little bit less and a little bit, you know. Maybe some long wait, waiting lines and long, you know, lines. Long, long lines. Yes, sir. You know, I think, um, I think that's the thing that most people don't understand is, is number one, it, you, people think that this is free. A lot of people think that health care is going to be free. Yes, sir. And when they realize that they actually, there's a cost involved, yes, sir. Um, it, it throws a lot of people off. Right. Now, or do you have health, in, in health coverage now? Yes, sir. Okay. A lot of people don't. And, and when they have to, when they're going to be forced to pay, we can come this way if we want, when they're going to be forced to pay and they haven't budgeted the cost of this insurance, it's going to hurt people. And the long run. Well, you know, um, when, when you go when you go out and you are in the community talking to people, what kind of feedback are you getting from from just regular um, folks out there, your buddies, I, people you work with? I haven't really mentioned it to a lot of people. When you do mention it, the average one thing that is going to be pretty good. Uh, I was in the military. So, yeah. Uh, when I was in the military, when it was when a doctor say made two hundred thousand a year, then you got two hundred thousand dollars worth of treatment. Right. If they made five hundred thousand dollars a year, then you got five hundred thousand dollars worth of treatment. So you basically, in so many words, you got what they pay for. And uh, I mean, you know, when it's, if you're not working for the incentives and you're on, on a fixed pay, mm -hmm. then if it's me, if I'm getting a fixed pay, I might not have the incentive to want to take care of you better. Well, I mean, that's the truth. And, I'm working and, for my money. And right now, you've got lots of doctors that are bailing out. Uh, they're you college students right now that are having second thoughts about getting and you know curriculum. becoming exactly you know um the, or, or, let me ask you this you're being a military guy or are, are you retired now i'm semi-retired semi-retired yes, so what do you think of uh, uh president obama's uh, uh um recent um nuclear arms reduction um i think he's trying to get to a free society where we don't have um nukes or we don't have any war. Uh, well, it, it, it would be good if we could get there. I don't think we have to get there. Not on this planet. Maybe when God come back, when Jesus come back, then you can get rid of all your nukes. But uh, if you got rid of most of your nukes and I still have two or three of mine left, you might be in trouble. Yeah, well, right now we're facing, you know, Iran. We've got North Korea. China. And uh, China. And, and, no, and these guys aren't playing by the rules. They're not reducing. We don't want the people that play by the rules. Well, I, I look at that as me and you are boxing and you got a knife and you keep cutting me, but I say, hey, I'm sticking by the rules and about two hours later, I'm through. Yeah, you're because, done. Because I stuck by the rules. In other words, when it comes to defense, I defend by all means. Right. And that's and that's what war is. War is, it's brutal. Yes, sir. You know, and that's, I think, part of the problems that we're facing in Afghanistan is that, you know, perhaps we're not... Uh, Perhaps we're not being as, as tough as we could be. You want my opinion with that? Yeah. I think that what has happened over the years, we have been so uh, living in a society where we have not been in war. People have lost heart to fight. Mm. Where men not, uh, don't have the heart to go out and protect the way they supposed to. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you cannot... But they don't know what they're fighting for. You got you, you to gotta know your enemy to fight. If I don't study... It's like in a in a boxing match. If I don't study my opponent, probably I'm gonna probably get knocked out because I, I haven't studied this guy. So it's just like with war. You got to study your enemy to know where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you: Are you a Republican, Democrat? I am neither one. So who who did you vote for last election? I ain't vote for neither one of them. You didn't uh, vote? No, I look at it right now. I really don't think it make any difference because I think they're all coming from the same side of the boat. Yeah. Well, now in the next election, Obama's going to be going up against. Uh, someone we don't know on the Republican side who that is do you think that uh, based on the things that the president has done that he deserves a second term 
I would wait. I would say I would want to wait to see how it's going to end. A lot of times when you start out, you start out kind of shaky. You really don't know the rules. I think I would give a but I could give a better opinion after these next two years. Mm -hmm. uh, from right now, he's playing on a field that I feel that in the future it may not be beneficial for us the way it's looking because um, it's just, I think that it's at the point that we need to know which side that we're, that we're standing on. You know? mm -hmm. um, that's just my personal hey, opinion. Um, I think that it just needs to be more for America. Right. 